Hi folks and welcome to tonight's advanced preview. Tonight we are taking a look at the uh, North Jersey Transit ALP46. So for those of you that have picked up the uh, the new North Jersey Coastline route which came out yesterday, that came with the uh, ALP45 dual power version. Uh, and what I'm showing tonight is the 46, which is uh, a slightly different uh, a slightly different loco as you will shortly see. So a little bit about it. Um, so during the 1990s, North Jersey Transit re-equipped its uh, electric locomotive haul trains with uh, Swedish constructed ALP44 and the AMP44M locos, which are similar to Amtrak's AEM7. Uh, but in the following decade, additional more powerful electric locomotives were reacquired by North Jersey Transit in 2001-2002. And in the commuter carrier acquired a fleet of 29 ALP46s, and this is what we're going to be taking a look at. So the ALP46 was based on the design of the Deutsche Bahn BR101, strangely enough. <laughs> it was envisaged to be able to power trains that construct, uh, consisted of up to 10 coaches. <clears throat> So uh, yeah, it's a powerful loco. We're looking at a loco, 7,108 horsepower. So it's a fair beast and a uh, top speed of 99 miles per hour. In the pack is the North Jersey Transit ALP46 uh, electric loco. Uh, and then there's the uh, coaches and the cab car to go with it. So Comet 4, Comet 5, as, uh, it's the same as in the North Jersey coastline. Um, it's New Jersey, New Jersey Transit. Of course it is, apologies, Josh Harkness. It's New Jersey Transit. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm like. Right, so um, features in the cab, you've got, uh, we'll take a look at them as we get in there, but you've got standard alerter, cab signaling, and so forth, as, as you're familiar with for the, uh, for the route. Um, the three scenarios included in the pack, we're gonna run one of them tonight. The first one is uh, Electric Avenue, uh, which is uh, 40 minutes, uh, which is driver stopping passenger service from Perth Amboy to Hoboken. Changing the fuse, uh, which is 40 minutes easy, which is jump into the cab with this ALP46 running as a light engine uh, on its way to collect a disabled train as it makes its final approach. You're then tasked with taking it to Meadows Complex where a team of engineers are on standby. And then lastly, a shock to the system. Join a stopping passenger service at Long Branch, stopping at all stations on the way to South Amboy. You will need to be alerted. You may encounter poor weather and adverse signals, and that's a hard scenario. And that one is also um, driven with the Comet Cab Car. The first two are driven with the ALP46. Right, so that's a basic uh, background to, uh, to what we're looking at here. Um, what we are, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the Electric Avenue service and uh, take a look. If you've got any questions, fire them over onto the uh, chat. I'm joined with uh, DTDJ, who is on the chat, and he'll try and directly answer any questions he can. Uh, and in some of the other ones, he will then forward over to me, and then I can answer them on here. So fire away with your questions, and we'll do our best to answer them. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoy this, uh, this new locomotive. Let me just start it up. So this is, this is the loco, the, I should have had this up really, shouldn't I? The North Jersey Transit ALP46, just while the game is loading there. It's, uh, it's a very interesting uh, New Jersey Transit. I keep saying North Jersey. It says, oh, it says New North Jersey on the screen here. Okay, the NJ Transit ALP46. <laughs> okay, um, so we're just waiting for the, uh, for the game to load at this point and, uh, and we'll take a look. We're having a run on the... Uh, on the, uh, the NJ coastline. <laughs> um, I'm just having a look to see what we're there, if there's anything coming up on the chat. Right, so we're just waiting for the game to finish loading here. So I hope everyone's enjoying Train Sim 2016. I know I am, it's great fun. Ah, here we go. Good morning, engineer. Today you'll be taking this passenger service from Perth Amboy to Hoboken, calling at several stations along the way. Open the doors to our passengers on board before departing. Let's get the doors open. Now I'm just gonna get the uh, sound turned back up again. Wipers on. Let's have a look outside while we're waiting. The headlights on, some ditch lights on. Let's turn that cab light off. As you can see, I mean, it shares um, a fair bit of visual appearance with the BR101, but it's not exactly the same. 
All passengers are on board, time to depart. The next station is Newark Penn. Right, we're on our way. So you can see the speedometer down in the middle here. We've got some light indicators that come on over here. And you'll see them doing different things as we go. Let's turn the bell off now we're moving. So we've got a green signal, we're clear to proceed. So cab signalling is uh, the same style of cab signalling that's in the Comet 5 cab car. So as the, um, when we go into a signal controlled area, you'll see a green bar appear down here. In fact, there is one right now. <laughs> Just realised I hadn't actually enabled it. So now it's enabled and it's telling off, telling us off because we're going too fast. It defaults to off, so if you don't want to use the uh, in-cab signaling, you don't have to. Um, uh, control D, Control F will switch it on. Just waiting until we get past this uh, signal here. So what you'll notice as we uh, speed up, you'll get to a point where you see the red light in there. That red means that we've, we're, uh, we're exceeding the limit. So that just tells us to cap our speed off. So we're in a 20. This is signal controlled. If we're not signal controlled limit uh, using cab signaling, then you follow sp track speed limits. And as always, it's always what's the, uh, whatever the, uh, the minimum uh, of all the speed limits is. So we've got flashing green, which is a bay cab signal. Hopefully that's going to promote us to a faster speed limit. That's the alerter. And as you can see, we're now able to speed up. So I'm going to get sped up and uh, we'll see what happens next for that. Speed limit in this section is 60. Someone's asking about the horn. I will go outside and blow the horn in just a minute. I'm just trying to get the uh, train sped up. We've got plenty of time once we get coasting to... Uh, That's it, we're out of cab control now, which means that we can just follow the line speed, which is 60. So, horn. That's the bell, and then inside. It's a bit more muffled inside, and that's the bell. Right, so let's get them going. How are we doing here? So 75 limits, so we get sped up. We've got another green signal there. You'll notice some of these lights um, come on depending on various things. So when the alerter goes off, uh, I think the red light goes off, so you can see these lights changing according to what we're doing. Get an outside view. So we're not stopping at this station, we're just going through it. We just get back in the cab and check our signals. We've got green and yellow, so I think we're going to get reduced in speed here. Yeah, we are. So I put the brakes on, cancel the alarm. So our limit was about 60 by the looks of it. So we speed back up. This is Woodbridge. So 
So again, we just keep the speed poking up until we see that green, that red light. There we go, there's the red light. There's the red indicator, just telling us we're just going and right at the maximum speed we're allowed to. There's a leeway of three miles per hour before the alarm cuts in, so you've got plenty of, uh, plenty of uh, room there to uh, just push up to the limit without the, uh, all the alarms kicking in. When the alarm does kick in, what you do is cut the power, put the brakes on so that you're applying brakes, and then press the Q key. Even if you're above the speed limit, it doesn't matter um, as long as you are slowing down. That was the alerter. And just reset that with the Q key. All right, we're out of cab control now, so we can speed up. stopping here either so let's uh, watch it fly past <laughs> awkward all right so we're actually in a uh, reduced speed here this is the problem you go outside the cab and all of a sudden it's getting all fussy with you because you're going over the speed limit. <laughs> right, that's better. We're back inside the speed limit now. Come off the dynamic brakes, that's better. I'm going to speed back up a bit. So we've got a 30 limit coming up here. We're in a 45 at the moment, uh, which is signal indicated. So the cab signaling, someone's just asking about the cab signaling, Matthew Timman. So this is essentially your speedometer, but it also gives you your cab signaling. I'm just gonna apply the brakes. So you apply the brakes and then put it back into hold when you've got the brake level that you're looking for. That's it, we're slowing down now for the 30. Not quite going to make it, but near enough. Oh, yes, we are. There you go. Release the brakes. That's the alerter again. So we're going 30 as we go around this, uh, this area here. So I was just talking about the cab signaling. So we've got a minute. So this is your cab signaling system on the speedometer. And when you're under cab signaling control, this green bar appears. And if you exceed this cab signal set speed limit, then it, the bar starts going red. So if I just accelerate a little bit, I can't because we're actually in a 30 limit. But if I, if, well, you exceed the speed limit, you'll see this bit starts going red. If you go too far red, then you'll need to slow down because an alarm will come on. And essentially the, the speed limit, in, actually you can see the light's gone off now, which means we're now no longer controlled by the signaling, the cab signaling, and we now have to obey the track speed limit. All right, so uh, let's see alerter again. So as we come up here, we just have a, uh, a rise coming up here. Uh, we're on our way for Hoboken. Let's check the signal. We're okay, we've got a green. Speed up because it's quite a, sh sh uh, quite a steep incline. Okay. Speed limit is still 30. So we're going up to 125 limit and then it's going to drop to 40. So we're only going to see the 40 because of the overlap. Uh, I think that's because we're actually crossing over here. That was the alerter again. You just press the Q key to cancel the alerter. Let's speed up. to get the 90 limit. Oh, we got, we got almost full score going through there. 
Right. <laughs> it's quite an interesting one to drive. The, the cab signalling actually makes it really interesting to work out what's going on. And then manage your uh, train speed appropriately. So I've got 90 limits, so we're accelerating. Another signal coming up here. I'm just going to check to see what that is. I believe it's greens. Yeah, it's greens. Carry on accelerating. Let's clear the alerter. So where are we at the moment? We have a minute to look. We are here. So we're on our way up here and we're going to come across into Hoboken there. So we're on the northeast corridor at the minute. 90 miles an hour. Another signal coming up. I'm paranoid because I, I think that there's going to be a, uh, an adverse signal coming up here. and It keeps getting me every time I run the scenario. I'm not paying quite enough attention to the signals. All right, we're almost up to the 90. Another service over here on the right. That's with an ALP 45. That's the one that comes with the NJCL. Let's check this signal out. Because I think, that, remember rightly, the line crosses over in front of us. Yep, flashing yellow. Let's get the brakes applied. Put some dynamics on. More than enough. So we're slowing down. The cab signal has dropped our speed to 45 by the looks of it. But then we're... Uh, that signal was actually a uh, an approach, so we need to be aware of a possible red light coming up, so I'm just going to back off the brakes now. Leave the dynamics on, just keep us coasting down. Once we stop we'll have another look outside. Slow down again. So again, with the brakes, what you do is you put them into the service um, with a gradually the apply setting, um, and then they will apply, and they'll just keep applying more and more and more. And when you've got enough that you want, the brake cylinder is this red one. So when you that's up where you want, you then pull it back into the hold state, and then the uh, the brakes will stop applying. So what's this signal? I'm guessing it's a red. I can't really see it. <laughs> He seems to have gone out ahead of us. I think the next signal is actually our red one, so let's get sped up. Yep, yeah, this is double yellow. Difficult to read in the rain, and I guess that's absolutely correct. Head out view, for those that want the head out view. There's two seats in here you can sit between, which is the uh, uh, conductor seat and the engineer's seat. Right, so our speed just got dropped to 30, so I'm going to apply the brakes. a bit long to do that so the emergency is applied but that's all right because once you get it right you can press Q and release everything it's not too uh, harsh so we're in a 30 limit at the moment based on the uh, cab signaling
Hopefully by the time we get there, that signal will be in our favour. That what's happening is that train's actually crossing over in front of us. Let's put it into service, you see the red goes up and then we pull it back into lap and then the brakes stop applying. Right, so we've got cab signalling. Press the Q key so we can release the brakes and get going. Just do whatever we're told to in the cab. The last we saw was a 30 limit, so we keep accelerating until we see that red line. So we're good to keep going. Speed limit on the track is 60. That's it, we're crossing over here so we can go around the train that we just that just passed us. So what we're looking at today, folks, is the um, NJT Alp 46. We're in a 55 limit. I'm going a bit fast. Uh, we're driving the Alp 46 uh, for the NJCL route that came out yesterday. Uh, this loco isn't out yet. This is an advanced preview. Um, and it's still very much a work in progress. So again, we'd really like to get your feedback on it and see what you, uh, see what you think. We do know the ALP46 was hotly requested um, when we showed the NJT line in the first play, um, oh, um, previously, before 2016 came out. And uh, so it's really, you know, really thrilled to be able to offer this one. There's the train that was past us. We can now go past it. Speed limit is 65. Just watching for that red appearing. There it is. Oh, in fact, it's just disappeared. That means we can get accelerated up the speed limit, which is 110. So we're on our way now to Newark Penn. And uh, that's our first stop. Let's have a look around on the outside again. So you've got the normal range of lighting controls and uh, ditch light controls. I like the NJ Transit logo, it's lovely and colourful. <laughs> is the cab. Have a look around. Put the cab light on, it all lights up inside. When you're driving this one, you're going to want to make sure you can see this um, if you're using cab signaling. As I said, you press Control D and Control F to enable all the cab signaling and alert functionality. It's off by default. And if you're using it, you're going to need to keep this display visible so that you can uh, track what's going on with the cab signaling. Uh, I would also recommend you keep this gauge visible because when you're applying the brake, that red line, the red needle here, this one is the one that will actually tell you how much brake force you're applying, how much air there is in the brake cylinder. Right, we've got a 70 limit coming up, so I'm going to cut the power. I'm actually going to start applying, so put it into there and release it back to the lap. So we've got a uh, signal control speed limit down to 60, so we're just dropping our speed down to that. Once we've slowed down to 60, we can then release the brakes. So, brakes are off. What's that signal? Still cab signal. So flashing green uh, signals mean do what it says in the cab. Let's get sped back up to our 60. So we're in a cab control. Even though the speed limit of the track is 70, we're in a 60 um, cab, lit, cab signal speed limit at the moment. We've actually got a 50 limit coming up shortly. We need to be aware of. That's the alerter. 
The Alerta for, uh, is similar to CIFA in German trains or to um, AWS in um, English trains. All right, so let's get ready for that 50 limit that's just coming up here. Put it into service and put a small brake application on. Down to 50 and that's it, release the brakes. Crossing over on the point here, that's why the 50 limit. We'll get to speed up again in a minute, however, we are going to be slowing down for Newark Penn shortly, and then we're going to be making our way to Hoboken. The alerter again. All right, we've just been given a reduction. Back down to the 45 mark. We've also got a speed limit reduction down to 35 on the track, so we're now redu reduced for that, which means we're now clear into Newark Penn. Bit slow. <laughs> Flashing yellow, that looks like, so we're going to get restricted again, I think. No, okay, carry on. We're coming into Newark Penn. So the other, that platform, south platform's there, north platform's just over here. And put the brake system ready to charge. And as soon as we're in the right place, we can get the brakes on. This is our first station. Alerta always comes at the wrong time. Right, a slightly sharp stop, but never mind. We're arriving pretty much on time to within a couple of seconds. Oh, I don't think that's too bad. All right, let's get the doors open. Should have had the bell on there, really, shouldn't I? Right. Let's get moving. Brakes are off. Just about, yep, the brakes are now off so we can get going. Next station, uh, we're gonna go via NJT Meadows Complex and then we're gonna head for Hoboken. Actually, all the way through the platform. So we've got green, so we're taking a secondary route. Turn the bell off now. Alerter. I tell you, it keeps you alert. <laughs> I guess that's the point. Right. I don't know what speed limit is here at the moment. Let's just edge up. Okay, we're good up to 33, so possibly 45. Remember the speed limits are gonna be 20, 30, 20, 30, 45, and 60, if I remember rightly. So we're in a 45 limit, actually, anyway. We've just come out of cab signal in control, so we just need to obey the speed limit on the, uh, on the track. Right, we're on our way to Hoboken now. Got a few miles to go. Lovely. The super elevation coming around that corner is superb. Alerta. 
I find having things like you don't have to have the alerter and the cab signaling switched on. You can drive without them if you don't want them. Um, but I certainly find that the uh, the experience is a lot more rich. It's certainly a lot more realistic with them on, but it's I find it a lot more. It's a more rich experience, and uh, you've got more to do in the cab, uh, which makes it more interesting. Right, let's get sped up to the track speed limit, which is 60. Two miles to the next waypoint, which we're going through. So in the pack, uh, the ALP46, you get the locomotive, uh, which I'm demonstrating at the moment. Uh, three scenarios for the NJCL route, the North Jersey coastline. Um, and it also comes with the, uh, the Comet 4 and Comet 5, uh, Comet 4 coaches, Comet 5 uh, cab car, which are already in the NJCL as well. The locomotive itself has got a cab signaling, um, it's got the instrument lights, put the instrument lights on. Um, and it's also got, let me just get dynamics on for this hill. So dynamics are quite fast acting on this. So we're maintaining speed with these dynamics just as we come down this short hill and as we start slowing down I can take the dynamics off. So the train itself is based on the BR101, the German train, which is uh, already available for the game as well. And um, yes, it's, it's really interesting to see um, these, the, the German train. Of course, the ACS64 is itself based on a German train as well with the, um, the Euro Sprinter, if I remember rightly. Right, so we've got a 50 limit coming up now on the track, so I'm just using the dynamics to ease us down to the 50. We've got track speed limit just come up, but that's okay. We're under that. Crossing over again onto here. It's a miserable day, isn't it? Dear, oh dear. Speed back up again. So we've got green on the top, which is always good. Oh, now we need to slow down. We're slowing down to 30. Right. So we've just met, gone through the Meadows Complex um, Junction and we're now heading off for Hoboken, three miles to go. So the track speed limit here is only 30, which is why we've slowed, sorry, the signal speed limit here is only 30, which possibly implies something blocking up the way or a crossover of some sort at low speed. So we've just lost the uh, cab signalling, so we can speed up to the track speed limit of 75. That's the alert up. Got a 30 limit coming up, so I'm just going to get brakes applied so we can slow down for that. We're going to have difficulty with this. Nope. No problem at all as it happens. Super. That slowed us down. I've got a green light there. All I saw was the bottom two red lights. <laughs> Minor moment of panic there. <laughs> All right, so carry on. We are about two and a half miles out of Hoboken now. Clear the alert, clear the alert up. We've 
green is on the middle just keep it up to the 30 Another signal coming up. Looks like green on the middle again. Excellent. Some time to have a look around outside. I'll probably regret doing this. <laughs> so I've got the green on the middle again. Let's get sped back up to the 30. So we've got tra track speed is down at 30 and so is the cab speed. Once again, that was the alerter. So we're just crossing over onto this right hand uh, road over here. I start to lose the feeling in my fingers because I left the air conditioning on. <laughs> That's my excuse now if anything goes wrong. So going into the tunnel now, we're not far out of our broken. Oli Lee, can I explain cab signalling? So I'll give you a, uh, another, another overview of the cab signalling. So um, let me just check this next signal. It's uh, green, good. So you, your cab signalling is all reg registered down here. So this green bar only appears when you're under cab signalling control. So if that green bar is not present, then you're not under cab control and you drive to the track speed limit. If that green bar appears like this, then you're, uh, you're within the speed limit uh, that's imposed by the uh, cab signalling. Um, if that green bar starts turning red, or black even, uh, then it's, uh, that means you're going too fast and an alarm will sound and you need to slow down. The threshold is about three miles per hour. So essentially, as soon as you, if you, when the speed limit drops, the green bar will shoot back down here. It'll get a big red bar up here saying you need to slow down. That's fine. What you then need to do is move your brake into apply, put some, move the red needle up to put some air in the brake cylinders, and then acknowledge the alarm. I think you get a few seconds to do that. Once you get the hang of it, it's very easy. You've got a tolerance of about three miles an hour, so you, in a 30 limit, you can do 33 before the alarms kick in. The alerter again. Right, nearly up to the 30. So I hope that's given you a brief overview. Essentially, if you've already got North Jersey coastline, and I'd hope you do, given this was for North Jersey coastline, then uh, it's the same sort of control, cab control system as is in the Comet 5 cab car. So we've got a 15 limit coming up as we make our way just into Hoboken Terminal. We're nearly there now. City that never sleeps. Got more people want to listen to the horn from the inside, from the outside. And the bell. Don't worry, those red lights weren't for me. <laughs> right, I get some dynamics on and we'll put a little bit of air on just to get down to the 15 as we come into Hoboken, which is just in front of us. green light at the bottom here. Well, yellow light, is that? that's a yellow light, top left. Indicating that, uh, well, there's a red light, obviously, at the end of the buffers.
Right, so we've got Hoboken coming in. You can see the uh, the clock tower over there, which is well known. We've got a control tower here. So again, you've got the head out view. Right, and this is just coming, us coming in. We were due in at 2.30, so we've still got a minute to come in yet. So assuming I can stop the train from 14 miles per 13 miles per hour, we're all good. I say that, earlier on when I tried this, I lost my concentration looking at other things and uh, yeah, it didn't end pretty, even from 10 miles an hour. A little bit of brake on. the lap so that we can quickly apply it get a little bit closer to the buffers we're all in the platform now but we don't like people to have to walk do we this is a train after all oh there you go look at that doors open seven seconds early service with a smile <clears throat> yes yeah, enough of that uh, quick look on the outside just before we finish for those that joined us late I'm gonna give a, a quick re-review of uh, where we what we've looked at and uh, what's in the pack and so forth so don't panic how to make friends and meet people blow your horn in the middle of a covered station Right, excellent run engineer, let's see how you did. 950 points, that's how we did. Oh yes. We got a gold medal. I can live with that, superb. Right, so let me just give you a quick summary again of where we're at, I'll just turn the volume of that down, because uh, that's kind of deafening in my ear. Right, that's better. <laughs> Welcome back folks. Let me bring up the product detail page so we can just have a quick look at the, uh, at the pack again. So this is the ALP46. And um, so uh, it's uh, run by North Jersey Tran New Jersey Transit uh, on, the, uh, on a North Jersey coastline route, uh, which came out yesterday. You can find that one on Steam if you haven't seen it yet. It uh, starts at uh, New York Penn, covers Newark Penn, Hoboken, and uh, heads, it follows the Northeast Corridor to Railway and then goes down to uh, Bayhead. So that's the, the route, North Jersey coastline route, which came out yesterday. This that we're looking at is the ALP46, which is uh, a loco, which is advanced preview. This isn't finished yet yet so we're really interested to get your feedback on that one really pleased to show it to you um, and uh, so it's a 7108 horsepower uh, locomotive 99 miles per hour is its maximum speed so uh, that's basically it what we've got to do now is um, let me just see if the technology is going to work tonight you guys know the technology never works um, I thought I had it all set up, but I didn't. So I'm gonna to have to add lib for a minute while, while it reconnects. So yes, we're gonna do a giveaway. We have two copies of this to, um, just trying to rub some warmth back into my hands. Uh, Jay, if you could come and turn the air conditioning off, that would be fabulous. <laughs> um, right, so I'm just waiting for the, uh, the, um, the giveaway system to uh, spring into life, and then I'll let you know what we're gonna do. So here's how it works. Um, I'm gonna give you a code to type into the chat, a keyword. You type that into the chat and um, that will um, enter you into the giveaway. After some random period of time, I'm gonna press a button uh, and then it's gonna randomly pick somebody. He's come to turn the air conditioning off. I'll turn it back. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Um, and uh, yes, once, uh, once I, and then I'll let you know who's won and then we'll get in touch with you just to let you know. It's still not connected. <clears throat> Let's go back and have another look, shall we, while we're waiting. There you go, this is the ALP46. Um, has anyone got any questions? If you've got any questions, fling them over in the chat and we'll do our best to answer them for you. Um, it's, uh, it's based on the BR101 German locomotive, so if, you see, if, you, if it seems familiar, then uh, vaguely familiar at least, because it's not exactly the same, the body is slightly different. Um, but the, uh, yeah, that's, that's why it seems familiar, it's because it is. <laughs>
Right, so I'm just waiting for this uh, giveaway system to connect. Normally I have this connected at the beginning of the chat so we don't have to wait like this. Um, and for some reason it takes a long time for it to be able to reconnect. So uh, it will get there in just a moment. I'm just going to leave you with this page so you can have a look while we are waiting for Aha! We might be in business. We might be in business. Right, so the first keyword is ALP46. Is, uh, so you need to type that all in lowercase letters, please, into the chat. Um, and uh, let me switch back to this. So if you can type ALP46, no hyphens, no underscores, no and all, and all lowercase, into the um, chat. So uh, Alex is the first one to get the uh, get that in there. Excellent. So if you guys um, type something in, type the ALP46 in, that will get you into the giveaway. And then in just a few minutes, I will uh, get the system to randomly pick something, someone out uh, who will be uh, winning this. Uh, Spokes Den, if you type it with an exclamation mark, it won't work. You need to just type it without the exclamation mark. Um, yes, good luck, as GTJ says. So uh, I'll give that another 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 minute or so, and then we'll get the computer to pick someone out as a winner. I hope you've enjoyed this. I, I really enjoyed that drive. Actually, it's quite nice. ALP forty six is uh, driving the sort of the commuter passenger routes is a different experience than the traditional freight American routes, and uh, you sort of get a bit of a crossover with uh, some of the cab signalling and uh, and so forth. It's it's uh, it's really enjoyable. I really enjoy doing it personally. Right, so I'm going to do a countdown on the chat and then I'm going to hit the button. So our first winner is uh, Demon's Ear. Let's make a note of your details. Congratulations, uh, you are our first winner. Uh, and let's pick somebody else and then I'll just explain how this will work. So our next code is gonna be NJCL, all lowercase letters, NJCL. It's the name of the route that was just released and it's the route that the ALP46 runs on. So NJCL in lowercase letters, please. If you type that into the chat, then that will enter you into the giveaway for the, uh, the second one. We have two to give away, this is the second one. That's it, we've got everyone entering codes now, entering the keywords now, sorry. <clears throat> I'll give that another another few minutes, a few seconds. Looks like we've got pretty much everyone that was going to enter is probably in by now. A couple more seconds. Some more people entering. I'm just going to give you a little bit more time to get your, uh, if you want to enter, now's the time to do it. Although by the time you hear this, it probably won't be. So I'm going to make that. <laughs> right, countdown. Our second winner is Harpoon71. Congratulations to you. Right, folks, this is how it's going to work. So congratulations to Demon's Ear and Harpoon71. Uh, what's going to happen is uh, I'm going to write you a Twitch message uh, in, uh, sometime in the next 24 hours just to say, hey, congratulations on winning. That will be in your Twitch inbox. And then what will happen is once the uh, product is actually released, then we'll get back in touch with you again and um, you'll get a, a Steam code uh, that you can enter uh, into Steam and it'll come with instructions telling you how to, how to actually add it and make it work. So uh, keep an eye on your Twitch messages over the next 24 hours. So, uh, I will get in touch with you uh, just to confirm uh, that you are uh, your winners and we've got your details. Uh, if you can just write back just to say that you've got the message and that way we know that uh, we've got in touch with everybody. Right, folks, that has been a, an advanced preview for the ALP46. It's all work in progress. Really appreciate your feedback. Um, and uh, we'll get that over to uh, the team that are working on the product. Um, oh, I'm being asked to do another one. Are we going to do another one? Let me, let me sort this out. <laughs> We're changing plans at the last minute. Happy to do another one. Ah, he says, yeah, why not? Go on then, why not? Let's come up with another keyword. In that case, Jay, you can tell me what the keyword is. J 
Jay can tell me the keyword while I reset everything. Right. What we're going to have as a keyword, Jay? We're going to do an, another third giveaway. This is unprecedented. Okay. That's not a keyword. He's just typed something into chat. That's definitely not a keyword. <laughs> um, okay. Let's go with, what can we go with? Uh, electric. It's an electric loco. Let's go with, uh, oh, yeah, we'll go. We'll go with electric. I've said it now. You took too long, Jay. <laughs> so if you could type electric into the chat, little letters, um, that will, um, uh, that will give you the, uh, uh, the entry into the giveaway. So electric, E-L-E-C-T-R-I-C, -E -E that will enter you in. Excellent. Give that another, uh, another few seconds. <clears throat> and then we will call it out. Let me do a countdown. Too many windows. And then who is winner number three? Uh, IRT Andre Alstom. IRT Andre Alstom, there you go. Congratulations, you are winner number three. I will just post that out and make a note of it. Right, that's it now. No more giveaways, Jay. <laughs> <clears throat> Right, so that's it. Thanks, folks. We've been looking at the ALP46. Uh, this has been an advanced preview. Really appreciate your time watching the stream tonight. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed driving it. And I have enjoyed it. That was awesome fun. Really good scenario. And that's one of the easy ones. And I'll have my, uh, try my hand at a hard one later on, I think. Right. Uh, hope you'll join me next week, which will be back to hopefully to the normal Friday. But do keep an eye on Facebook and so forth for any last minute changes for the next advanced preview. Um, and uh, we'll tell you in the, during the week what that's going to be. Right. Thanks again, everybody. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.